The BizForm module enables the creation and publication of simple online forms with no development. The form is published on the Kentico site by inserting special macro expressions into the text of a page or using the BizForm web part. The captured data is stored in a separate database table and can be viewed over the web, emailed, or exported to Excel. In this video, we will look at how to build a custom form layout for a BizForm. Let's start our demonstration by first building the BizForm. This is done through CMS Desk, Tools, and then BizForms. Within BizForms, I'm going to select New BizForm. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to call this Customer Name. We're going to give it the form code name of Customer Name. And we're going to place this in the table Customer Name. Select OK. And this takes us into the main area of the biz form. We can make a couple of decisions. What do we want to do once the form is submitted? Do we want to display a set of text? Do we want to allow them to redirect to a URL, clear form, or continue, continue editing? I'm going to re-display a set of text just saying, thanks for the submission. And my submit button text is just going to be a thanks. Once this is done, I can then go ahead and define the fields that I'm going to use within my biz form. And this is done by adding new attributes, which are actually updating the database table on the back end. So the first column name I'm going to use is just customer name. I want to show this on the public form. I want to set the field caption, which is the caption that people will see as they're edi editing. I'm going to set the field caption to just name. And then I'm going to make the field type. You see I have a bunch of different choices. I'm just going to leave it as a text box. I'm not going to allow empty values, and I'm not going to set a default value. For the customer name, I'll give it a, a maximum length of 100. Click OK. And we'll add another form, which is just going to be customer email. I'll set the field caption of email. And the field type will be email, which will go ahead and then validate that it's a proper email. Once again, I'm not going to allow an empty value. And we'll then go ahead and click OK. Now that I've entered two fields, just to make it a little bit easier to see, I'm going to move these up to the top. Once that's done, we can go ahead and actually build the form. Within the form, we can just continue on and it will automatically generate the form, or I can use a custom form layout. When I select this, it enables the Wise Wig Editor, as you can see here, and I have a couple of choices within here. The first thing if we wanted to build a form layout is we could generate a simple table layout. And you'll notice that the table layout automatically includes the transformations necessary to put in your label, your input, and your validation. Because we have the WiseAwig editor, we can actually create a much nicer form. We can do this a couple of ways. One is if we wanted to put just a simple title, we could say customer name. And the Wise Wig Editor allows us to make decisions around things like setting the format. If we wanted, we could also do things like inserting icons or inserting images to bring that out. If we wanted to create a custom look, meaning we wanted to ask for email first or name first, we could do that by selecting the available fields, we first want to insert a label unless we wanted to create a custom label. This will automatically put in the necessary transformations. Then we can do our input. And then we can put in validation. And essentially, this is creating the form for us. And if we wanted to put a section that were to say, please enter your email, 
so that we can contact you for special information. And then we could put in things like email and put our input and then finally put our validation. The validation is important to put in because if you have criteria set on the field, this will automatically display it to the user. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to put my customer ID in here just so that we can see what that looks like. And then the last thing I'm going to do is insert my submit button. Once we're done, let's go ahead and save this. Now that we've created our biz form, let's go ahead and add it into a blog entry. So we'll create a new, create a new blog post. And within here, we'll just call this title customer information. And we'll do our post summary. Please provide your information. And then down within my post text, we're going to go ahead and submit a biz form. And we're going to insert the customer name biz form. And you can see that it creates the necessary transformation. So when the page is processed, the biz form is inserted. If we save this, and then we preview it, you can see that we now have our biz form added. We can enter our name, we can enter our email. If we were to create our name and we leave it blank and we hit our submit button, you'll see that it automatically tells us through the input validation that we need to enter values. This concludes our demonstration of creating custom form layouts with biz forms.